Welcome to our lecture online and here our next topic in sound and sound waves is the consideration of what sound intensity is. Sound intensity is typically associated with loudness and yes there is a strong association with that but how do we measure that? How do we measure the intensity or the loudness of sound? Well we do have a decibel scale and in the next video I'll show you how to use that decibel scale but first we need to get, a, get, a, get an understanding of what that really is. So let's say we have a person here and this person has a very loud voice and he yells across the field and makes a loud sound. Now that sound contains energy and in some later video I'll show you how to calculate the energy contained in the sound wave. But let's say that sound then travels and reaches a window and let's say the window is open and has a cross-sectional area of one meter by one meter or one meter squared. So the area of this window is equal to one meter squared. The sound that doesn't come through the window, that bounces out of the walls on above, below, and to the side of the window, bounces back, but only the sound that fits through the window will go through the window and the person on the other side will then hear that sound. Well, the intensity of the sound that the person on the other side hears is defined by the power of the sound that makes it through. How much energy per unit time makes it through the window? because we have to divide that by the unit area. So it's power going through the window per unit area. And the units of that, of course, if we describe it by units, is watts for power divided by square meters. So it's watts per square meter that defines the intensity of the sound. Now, how loud is, for example, sound that is one watt per square meter, for example? That's quite a loud sound. One watt per square meter almost hurts your ears and would be kind of an uncomf uncomfortable noise. For example, typically a person who's speaking, the sound coming out of a person's mouth under normal conversation, so the intensity from a person speaking is probably about uh, one times 10 to the minus six watts per square meter. So that's a millionth of a watts per square meter, which is typically the sound that comes out of your voice. So I can't imagine a person being able to yell so loud that he can produce a sound of a, a whole watt per square meter. That would be quite impossible. Matter of fact, if you want to listen to something that makes a, a sound of one watt per square meter, you probably want to sit take a chair, set it next to a runway of an airport, and watch airplanes take off. And as they're coming by you with engines thrusting at full thrust, those engines probably make a sound of about one watt per square meter. Um, let's say that what is the faintest sound that a human ear can hear? For example, if you're in a place where it's absolutely quiet, it's virtually wind still, and you hear the slightest sound, what kind of power is coming from that sound? What kind of intensity? And for example, I, of the faintest sound that human hearing, hearing can hear, is in the order of 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter, which is 1 trillionth of a watts per square meter. And yet, human hearing is so good, so, so incredibly amazing, that it can actually hear sounds that have this enormous small amount of energy coming from it. The loudest sound, as I said, I, that is safe to listen to, uh, so I loud, very loud, is in the no neighborhood of one watt per square meter. Anything beyond that, you probably will start receiving hearing damage. That's when the little cilia and the coglia get so much vibration that they start getting destroyed. The cells there cannot handle that kind of energy input and so you have potential hearing, hearing loss. So if you listen to sound, let's say you put headphones on or earbuds on, and you start listening to sounds that are greater than what, watts per square meter of energy going into eardrums, um, I would say you probably are on the way to getting some hearing damage. But notice the tremendous capability of the human hearing. It can hear sounds as faint as this and as loud as that and everything in between and discern the difference. Uh, anytime you go to 10 or 100 watts per square meter, you're probably asking for trouble as far as your hearing is concerned, so you don't even want to go there. But at least that gives you a feel of how sound intensity can be expressed. It's simply how much energy is contained within it and how much energy transports through a certain area per unit time, and that's how we define intensity of sound.